Welcome back. Five of the fastest growing cities in the world are in Nigeria. For example, many people living in Lagos can testify of the hours spent in traffic on a daily basis. As a result, more people are patronizing fast food outlets due to a lack of time and energy to prepare their meals. A burger from Nigerian fast food brand costs anywhere between 2,200 and 6,000 naira. We have Olufunto a Jenny Fuja, analyst at Financial Derivatives Company, to discuss this with us. Hi, Funto. Good to have you. Hi, thank you for having me. So, um, does this shift to fast food alternatives um, look like a sustainable trend for you in the country, seeing the economic situation we are in? Okay, so it's true that Nigeria has some of the fastest growing cities in the world. So what does this mean? This means congestion, this means traffic. Mm. And, you know, those of us living in Lagos, we know how long we spend. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is go home and gather your ingredients and make a meal. So we're seeing that more people are shifting to ordering fast food items. Mm -hmm. And this is because people value convenience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the situation going on in Nigeria, people are, demand is shifting to fast food because not a lot of people have the money to go and sit down at a proper restaurant and spend, you know, 15K, 20K for a sit down meal. So... This trend is definitely continuous. We don't see this dying anytime soon because, you know, the, um, there's a strong population growth, especially of the young and, you know, especially in the urban areas, you know, the young urban dwellers, they're increasing, in, you know, they're increasing and they value convenience. So, yeah. Um, talking about value convenience, it's still not convenience of the pocket as well because I hear that a bottle of Coke now is about 300 naira in a restaurant. So how would the ordinary Nigerian who uh, values convenience be able to conveniently pay for that it's now? How do you think that's going to happen? So I'm talking more about people that, you know, earn a decent income in Nigeria. I feel mm. like even though the prices of... These so this is are, for a certain demographic. This you're is for not, a certain, You're not talking about yes, yes. most Nigerians, the average Nigerian. Yes, I'm talking about a certain demographic, you know, mm. the young, the urban, um, the, in the elite areas Possibly as well. The elite. Yes, you know, young bachelors that, you know, that are earning a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. they are more likely to go home ordering a takeout, a takeout meal as opposed to cooking. So, yes. So is this cost rally? Is it happening globally? Is it just a thing in Nigeria? Okay, so this cost rally that's happening globally, I'm going to use something to, for us to paint a picture of mm -hmm. this. So the, according to the CNBC, the CNBC, the Big Mac burger mm -hmm. um, is, a powerful, is a powerful demonstrator of how inflation is, a, inflation is affecting Americans. Mm -hmm. And the price of a Big Mac is about $6.05, which, ha, which has gone up even more than the rising cost of living, which has gone up 37, 38% in a decade. So that paints the picture globally. So now, domestically, it's not uncommon to see a lot of these foreign fast food outlets set up shop and not stay. And this is due to a number of reasons, but a key reason is the quality of inputs, being able to source quality inputs here. So this means that a lot of them have to import their ingredients and, you know, imported inflation. That is going to be incredibly expensive now. When you break down a burger, you have the bun, you have the beef, you have, you know, and it's incredibly detrimental for a brand for, you know, a customer to go in, get a tummy ache or it not, it not taste good. Someone mm -hmm. tweets about it. That's, that paints a terrible <laughs> picture of the brand. So that is a major fear mm -hmm. for a lot of fast food outlets that, you know, want to set up shop in Nigeria. Another thing to consider is the um, health consciousness that is happening globally that we're now seeing in, we're now seeing domestically. People are becoming more health conscious, you know, things like burgers and pizza, they're not necessarily healthy. So that's another thing to consider. Even though Nigeria is experiencing a strong population growth, even though there is a change in, you know, the consumer, consumer taste, um, a shift in the way, you know, people are, in what type of food people are choosing to eat. So do you think it's a viable market for, for Nigeria? I do you? think it is, yes, because mm. the demand is there. Okay. You know, the demand is there. It's just that there are certain things such as, you know, being able to source quality inputs, you know, health consciousness that brands have to consider. So how has this new trend affected process and costs in, in the country, basically, for, to acquire quality inputs in Nigeria? Okay, so as I kind of touched on in my last answer, obviously it's not that easy to source, you know, they can't guarantee that mm -hmm. they're going to get the best quality. And as a brand, you want the best quality for your customer. Mm -hmm. So even though it is an issue right now, there is a business opportunity presented here for 
you know, for, dom for people in the domestic market to source quality inputs to these brands. Because like I said, the demand is there. So are we sourcing so, locally or we're importing? So sourcing locally. So there is an opportunity here mm -hmm. for more, you know, if you own a cattle ranch, you know, more farms to get into this business because, you know, it's food. People need food. You know, fast food <laughs> items like burgers and pizzas might not be a necessity. But as I said, the... Um, there's an increase in young urban dwellers, so the demand is there, and these are the kind of things they would like to eat as opposed to, you know, rice and stew, swallow, and those kind of things. So there's did, an opportunity. I did, see, I did see a pizza with uh, pepper soup, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> flavor. <laughs> so we, we're getting to, like, have it more, like, local flavors in our... So is this going to be a trend? Is this what people are now trying to see? Is it a taste people are beginning to acquire for, and then is the market for it? Yes, there's a market for it. And like I said, there is a way you can. So especially if we source, you know, for instance, if you source, when we look at the cost of beef right now, when you look at meat in general, because obviously burgers, you can have a chicken burger, you can have a fish burger, you can have a beef burger, and chicken is pretty much a luxury meat now, even domestically. Mm -hmm. So imagine having to import that as well. So there is a massive opportunity for, you know, people to be able, like, you know, if people are able to source the same type of quality locally, then, you know, more businesses will be setting up shop here. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, Olufonto and Jeff Nijia, for coming on the program and sharing your thoughts and perspective on the fast food market. And I would hope that ni many Nigerians may be logging to this and probably have money to buy. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. Thanks.